we're back. I think it is about April 1st-ish. Um, maybe April 1st itself, let me see. But anyway, I did a little inspection, looked around the premise, make sure, you know, what was in place, what wasn't. I'm still noticing a few things like this washout here. Washout here was expected because uh, this is all just sand. But actually, it's not terrible washout. Um, definitely, definitely some for sure. But we got some nasty storms while we were away. The uh, tarp was it, it's it's on. This is this is very good, surprising. Like we had some wind, like stuff that we do not normally have. The only thing is the gray tarp, so the heavy duty stuff, <coughs> right about where that crease is, it was folded back. So it still had the blue on there and not the gray. So I am going to, for the first time, <clears throat> since getting back, head in here and see what's up. Ooh, the floor is looking dry. Oh, it smells, it smells dry. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Let's see over here in the corner. Let me get the flash on. Okay, so over here was a section that had the partial coverage. This is a local low point. I see nothing there. And this was approximately where that, where the uh, spot was, where the tarp wasn't. So I see some moisture in a bag there. I think that's captured moisture from before. I think that's just in the bag. It feels very cool in here, but not cold. Let me see, we had that thermometer over here. If I can read it. All time, no, oh, that's not gonna be. Let's see, 24 hours, 48, all time low, 30. So that hasn't changed since we left. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we made it through traveling for the winter, getting out of here. Um, you know, just keeping warm and <laughs> not having everything get destroyed. I'll tell you the one thing I was most worried about, because I was lazy, up here, there's, uh, you know, the edge of the zip panels. And I was worried that water was going to get up in there and flow down on them, and then I'd have to replace these zip panels because I didn't tape them. Um, but I lucked out. <laughs> so let me see. I think tomorrow or the next day tomorrow tomorrow they are delivering wood so that we for the first floor so we can, can start constructing walls um that starts on thursday which is a couple days from now we're gonna be having some nasty weather come through so it might be like thursday afternoon that starts and then i have a little bit less than two weeks um maybe a week and a half to get that done with my wife's help and um then after that, I'll be on my own. But hopefully, I think I think we'll be able to get it done within that period of time. It's going to be like, you know, long days and a lot of take up. For now, the only major things I need to worry about is that tree there. And there's another one on the other side, so we can't get up our driveway. I got to go try to start the tractor, which I haven't. Uh, I didn't put stabilizer in there, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I should have, but I just didn't. All right, so if this starts, great. If it doesn't, um, not great. <laughs> I don't have a plan. Uh, here we go. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna let that run. I'm gonna drive around a little bit just to make sure that the, uh, you know, the battery's charged and all that. And, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, next scene will be, uh, starting the house build. <laughs> 